Yellow spinner, you're on pen stock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will show you spider spin. To be more precise, I will show you a linkage, spider spin to fingerless thumb around. Because that's what you usually see when it comes to spider spin. Also, to my mind, it is much easier to learn and to get concept of this trick in this linkage. After you master this linkage, you can also learn spider spin by itself and link it to different other tricks. But in this tutorial, I will just call it spider spin. The trick looks like this, you do thumb around, then pen makes 1.5 rotation on your middle finger and after that you finish it doing fingerless thumb around. The whole that movement your hand is in this position like a spider-man. Spider spin is a difficult trick, you have to be mentally prepared for it. It combines both top spin trick and power trick. And if you already know how to do palm spin and power pass, this will be helpful, at least know their concept. Anyway, I will do my best to explain you and make your learning much more easier than it was for me. For that I divided the tutorial into several phases, simple steps to greatness. And first phase, we do thumb around, then lead pen on top of middle finger, on middle finger bone, and then just drop it off. First you need to stop fearing to drop pen and to learn how to lead it on your middle finger. Try to lead it so pen mod center is placed on middle finger. At this phase you will hold your hand pretty much palm side, not palm up. And the main goal is not to make as many spins on your middle finger as you can, because it is really difficult. We will come to that a little bit later. Just need to lead pen on top of your middle finger. At the same time you don't have to keep hand on at spider's man gesture. This is more an aesthetical detail than functional. So just make sure that you keep your index finger straight and thumb away, so it does nothing interferes pen's movement. Doesn't matter how you keep your pinky, is it straight, a little bit raised or completely bent? Dude, do you think I can learn this with Jigao B11? What? Jigao? This crap won't allow you to learn my spin. Go and find something better on penstock.net first, then come back. I'm a buy Jigao V25, is that good? Bro, did you hear what I've just said? Don't you ever mention this crap in front of me. I've heard from Miranda that it is fine, so what's your problem? Oh sh I used pretty heavy pen mod, long, with good momentum, center balanced of course, BGG, Buster CYL, Luna mod, Ivan mod, you can use something like that. All of these pen mods you can easily get on penstock.net, my pen spinning shop, with the delivery to every country of the whole wide world. In the next phase we will need to add a little motion, sharp and strong motion forward, away from you, right after your pen mod touches middle finger. When you do this motion you will need to move thumb a little bit forward, so you like catch up pen mod after it touches middle finger. And if you are lucky, at this phase you can already do fingerless thumb around. For that you will need to find the right moment when to move your hand forward. The right moment will come right after your pen mod passes Thumb. Don't try to do it slow, you will need momentum to keep pen spinning on uh, your middle finger. You don't actually spin it on middle finger, you just use it as a support. And by moving hand forward you help your pen continue spinning. If you move hand forward before it passes, you just end up doing nothing. And if you do this motion too late, when pen is at this position, most likely you also will not be able to do fingerless thumb around. As soon as pen passes thumb, you move hand forward pretty much and you can do fingerless thumb around. If you can do about 2-3 fingerless thumb rounds at the end out of 10-15 tries, that will be just fine. At this point it will be pretty difficult, your movements will be messy and uh, you will have no control over your pen mode. Eventually you will notice that you got stuck, so we will need to move forward to the next step, which will require you using different pen mode. I used lighter pen mode, because at this step we will need to learn how to control pen mode. So to my mind Baron DC is one of the best choices when it comes to this phase, also I used Everchixed Emboss, but it is a little heavier. Now we will need to learn how to 
let pen spin on middle finger. You do thumb around, then you place pen on middle finger mostly. Try to find the topest position and also try to keep pen on this finger bone, because this will make more surface. Also keep your hand palm up, it will make your spinning much easier of course. At this phase also you can start straightening your pinky finger, trying to look like a Spider-Man. Try to lead pen mod on middle finger at pen mod center. We want to make pen spin on middle finger without moving hand, because moving it back and forth make pen spin, but you lose control and spinning is much more unstable. Don't try to make a lot of spins, one, one and half will be fine to do spider spin, because as you know we just need half rotation. When you can do at least one full rotation of your pen mode, you can try to add fingerless thumb around by moving thumb in rounds mostly. Also work on finding the right force which you will need to apply during thumb around, initial thumb around. You will need to apply pretty much force to let pen spin, but not too much, so you could keep pen spinning on middle finger. Try to do fingerless thumb around just by moving your thumb without moving of your hand. <sighs> this is just an important tip, because without that you will fail a lot. That's why I repeat it so much. I wish you good luck with all that and pen spinning. May they still be with you. Bye.